Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve objective question that had appeared in the past university papers under the subject project management. Again, a very important video for the TY BMS N6 student. In this paper, video, we are going to take up all the previous uh, papers which are available and you know try to you know answer their objective. Chalo, so let us see. First, in April 2024, what are the objectives and what are the answers? Okay, the, this was the first set of MCQs that were asked in April 2024 question paper. Okay, these were the next set of MCQs. Okay, along with this, the next uh, objective question was math the column with the answers. Okay, now we'll take up all the previous papers and let us see what are their answers. April 2019 paper. The very first part was based on true or false. So I'll just read out one by one. Capital intensive project involves small amount of investment is false. Project structure provides a training ground to project managers that is true. Depreciation is a non-cash item or non-cost item. It is supposed to be cash. So that's false. Feasibility study involves cash flow analysis is true. Delphi method is an individual decision making technique is false. Lean means creating more value for customers with firm resources is true. Risk monitoring and controlling involves keeping a track of uh, identified risk is true. PMMM strengthens the link between strategic planning and execution is true. Project management consultants uh, consultant manage the project by application of their knowledge, skill, expertise at various stages is true. And ARR method is based on accounting profit is again true. Okay, these were the various, uh, you know, true or false, which had been asked. You can read it once and take a screenshot of that. Okay, and just one thing, okay, uh, wherever we wrote here, uh, you know, depreciation is a non-cost item. The answer is true, okay, it's not false. Okay, make this true, okay. Okay. I guess it must have copied by mistake there. Chalo, this was first true or false. Then next is uh, in the same way. The next thing was math the column. So under that first was project manager. That is D leader of project team. Debenture is E debt security. High gearing is V increases the financial risk. Yield value is I payback period. PMMM is C which is has five levels. Project audit is G controls the project. Project terminated as F when testing fail. Uh, numeric projection or uh, project selection is A depends on FMP. Non numeric project selection is H the sacred cow. And 10 system integration is J engineering process. Okay, so these were the objectives which had come in, uh, you know, April 2019 paper. I hope you all are taking a screenshot of both the you know, sides. Next was October 2022. Under that, we had first MCQs. Uh, I'll go through one by one. Dash projects are those in which the ownership is shared by the government and private entrepreneurs. The answer is joint sector. Next was matrix type of structure is dash flexible. 
dash plan is executed to efficiently and effectively guide all the aspect of a project from start to finish with the ideal goal of delivering the outcome on time and on budget as project management and in project management negotiation is done to dash resolve the conflict these are the first four mcqs there are another six more we'll see in the next slide till then you can go through and take a screenshot of this Okay, next, Dash is the ability to utilize, support, and perform the necessary task of a system or a program as technical feasibility. SWOT analysis covers source of material, competency of top management, cost structure, or all of the above. The answer was all of the above. Dash is mainly Dash mainly arises from outsourcing and personal uh, personal related issue that is resource risk. Okay, these are the next three. Again, I'll get a screenshot and then we'll go ahead. Okay, next. Okay, uh, the eighth and ninth are little you know blurred, so I'll just read that. Dash leverage result from the presence of fixed costs that helps in uh, magnifying net operating income fluctuation floating from small variation in revenue. The answer is fixed leverage. Dash is a tool or technique of management involving the analytical study of job or operation is CPM. Uh, Dash is ongoing improvement of product services or process through incremental and breakthrough improvement is PMMM. Okay, so these are all the MCQ that had appeared in the paper. Next, along with MCQ, there were true or false. Okay, I'll read out one by one. A project consultant is the person responsible for accomplishing the project objective is false. Operational structure defines how tasks are divided, grouped and coordinated in organization is true. Okay, preference shareholders receive a fixed rate of dividend is true. By using EIA, both environmental and economic benefit can be achieved is true. ARR, the rate of return at which NPV will be zero, false. PMM has only four levels that is false capacity planning is the process of determining the production capacity needed by an organization to meet changing demand for its product is true technical feasibility is about engineering aspect of project which is true Kaizen diagrams are casual diagrams created by Kauro Ishivaka, uh, sorry, Ishikawa that shows the potential causes of a specific event is true and project is permanent which is false okay so along with the mcq these were the true or false which had appeared in the paper okay i hope you all have taken the screenshot of this okay chalo. along with this now on last april 2023 under that the very first type of question was mcqs again so I'll read out one by one. Dash projects are those in which the ownership is shared by the government and by private entrepreneurs. The answer is joint sector. Dash is a problem schedule for uh, solution that is project. In Dash matrix organization, power and authority are shared between the functional manager and the project manager. It's called balanced. A Dash study is used to determine the viability of an idea. It's called feasibility report or feasibility study. Okay, these are first four. You can have a look at it and take a screenshot of this. Next, Dash helps to simplify the business processes and make them faster and efficient is digitalization. Uh, product mix is also known as Dash product assortment a uh, dash aid is provided to small as well as medium scale unit promoted by eligible entrepreneurs it's called seed capital okay i'll take a screenshot of this okay next to reduce scheduling risk tools such as dash is used it's called breakdown structure 
Capacity is the ability of a given system to produce dash within a specific time that's called output. And the next tenth one, once the initial level of maturity and areas of improvements are identified, dash provides a roadmap outlining the necessary step to take toward project management, maturity, advancement and performance improvement. The answer is PMMM. Okay, so those were the MCQs. I hope you have taken a screenshot of that. Now, along with that, the last question which was there was again true or false. I'll read out once. Profit maximization is the prime objective of public sector project is false. A strategic business unit is not a functional unit of a business is false. IRR is the rate of result that a project earns false. Time is not the most important constant of any project is false. Planning is an uh, iterative process is true. A feasibility study is used to determine the validity of an idea is true. Strengths are competitive advantage one has in the marketplace is true. Lean manufacturing originated from the Toyota production system is true. Capital notes are one type of debt vehicle is true and risk free rate is the borrowing rate of the investor which is false. Okay, so these were the various objectives that had appeared in the past three question paper which were available. So I hope everyone have you know taken a note of that and taken a screenshot of that. So with that we will be ending this video here. Thank you.